Okay, hey, everybody, to another episode of On Point EDC. Today, I have a really cool slip joint for you guys from the brand Boulder Supply Company. Uh, they're actually based out of Singapore, and they manufacture watches and watch gear that's super tough, stylish, yet functional, and always ready for adventure, and have recently expanded into the world of pocket knives. And uh, in terms of the type of knife, like I mentioned, this is a modern slip joint. Uh, some key common characteristics and design, which you're looking for something within this genre. Of course, you're gonna want that traditional non-locking, two-handed opening knife, uh, but with, you know, modern build materials and, you know, an updated uh, little bit of flair to it, uh, which I think they really nailed here in this particular model, which is the Wild Man 1. And it's been inspired by the documentary filmmaker and explorer, as well as uh, being a Boulder brand ambassador, uh, Michael Strandberg. And you can see the blade is actually signed uh, with his last name, which is pretty cool. So essentially the Wildman one takes the quintessential folding knife to a whole new level of quality and comfort. It's lightweight yet sturdy micarta handle is textured for a firmer non-slip grip with a tough M390 steel blade, which is one of my favorite steels. Um, and then the nice thing is it'll also take on multiple challenges tirelessly, um, you know, be it hacking twigs for firewood, cutting rope, or slicing open an envelope. Uh, and the nice thing is the pricing is actually really great. It's uh, $169 direct from Boulder, uh, which honestly for a really cool modern slip joint with M390 blade steel, that is pretty reasonable reasonable, uh, which I can appreciate and that does kind of align with Boulder's value forward uh, watchmaking. And so it's nice to see them uh, kind of dip their toes into the knife side and actually also offer a very competitive pricing from that standpoint. So with that said, let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, get this piece in hand and take a closer look. Okay, now before we dive in, quick customary wristwatch check. As you can see, I'm actually wearing a Boulder. This is uh, one of their most popular and famous models and also one of my favorites. This is the Boulder Expedition. This is the Expedition 1 reissue uh, that was slightly updated um, even to include an option to actually get this really cool full steel bracelet that matches uh, really quite beautifully. And I think it really fits uh, the tone here of uh, of this, right? It's kind of a modern reimagining of something quite traditional. Now, when you think about uh, old kind of uh, bezel, uh, you know, compass bezel watches, you think of something like the Seiko Alpinist. Um, and then the nice thing is you get something like this, which takes a lot of those capabilities and really modernizes it and turns it into something, I think, you know, e even more capable, even if slightly less versatile. So very, very cool. Love this model. Love the usability, functionality, and of course that form factor uh, it just means business <laughs> this thing's gorgeous and uh, you know you're adding some more additional functionality because uh, let's say comparative to the Seiko Alpinist uh, you didn't get a screw down compass uh, bezel there so this is a screw down crown so that compass will stay locked until you need to use it which is nice especially for those of us who really really uh, can get carried away with making sure everything is aligned on the dial now when we get to this pocket knife here a lot of you you know you see this and you're like oh man that definitely looks quite traditional um, and it actually does carry on a lot of traditional traits also one of them being that it's not really meant to be disassembled although you can of course unscrew through um, the, uh, the scales here, uh, you look at the pivot and this is not really meant to be taken apart. And uh, you know, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. And it's something that many traditional knives are pinned together uh, in a certain way and, and uh, it works. But then you get certain uh, upgrades, of course, <laughs> one of them being this outstanding blade steel M390 from Bowler. Um, it's really a super steel. It's one of the best steels that are out there in terms of really just kind of having uh, across the board, uh, you know, some great attributes, right? Versus uh, tool steel uh, that might be, you know, uh, very tough and uh, wear resistant, but uh, also can corrode or patina over time, uh, you know, or might end up being a little bit of chippy uh, there in terms of toughness. So uh, the nice thing is you're getting a lot of that all across the board. Uh, another nice modern nicety here is uh, they did some knurling here for like jimping. Uh, so you can get that very nice and then another traditional piece is that you are going to be getting a half stop so let's say you're using your knife 
and uh, you kind of forget, you lose track, right, of uh, kind of keeping your thumb here uh, to, to hold that uh, the, essentially the bar on the slip joint from going anywhere um, and let's say you poke something to pierce it uh, it basically is going to come down to that half stop and it's going to stop you from biting your finger which is nice and then it'll be another stop to get closed there and then of course two-handed open um, although you know you can do a one-handed close if you're comfortable enough and uh, honestly, the ergonomics on this really make it easy to be quite comfortable uh, in the hand. So uh, you're getting this nice worn cliff blade shape, which is great for EDC. I mean, this is definitely not a tactical blade shape. This is absolutely, you know, a, a, uh, a, a great tool, uh, cutting tool. Um, you know for various types of cuts and grasps and then um, it does have a nice flat grind It does have a little stone washing there over the general grind um, So it does have a nice consistent finish that does look very nice and, and pretty high-end especially considering the price point It is quite sharp out of the box. You're getting the nice titanium bolsters uh, and then of course these great micarta um, scales uh, which actually didn't even require any oiling or anything like that they actually ran out of the box looked really really great and feel really nice to the touch so I really like that overall length on this is only gonna be six and a half um, inches with the blade length just being two and a half so uh, very legal in terms of what you're carrying because one it's non locking two it's really short under three inches um, so this is gonna be something that you can really carry around with you and not worry about breaking Making any local regulations um, and you know overall it's really not uh, a weapon and it doesn't scream weapon uh, which is nice especially with some of the newer uh, more tactical style uh, blades even when they're not meant to be tactical and are just meant for kind of EDC daily cutting tasks uh, some of them can be kind of scary to people here uh, this is really gonna be a super safe one especially with that two-handed open not aggressive um, close length is only 3.75 uh, inches so uh, just under four inches, but you still get a nice four finger grasp here um, You know, you can even choke up slightly there um, Because you're not going to be getting your finger actually close to any uh, sharpened edge, which is nice um, And then again, you can really lock in or you know if you need to do some type of chopping I, mean, I wouldn't recommend doing something like this unless you're coming to the cut uh, you know, of course against it, you know, if you're cutting rope a certain way um, Or you know slicing through something uh, The main thing you don't want to do is roll anything back and Thankfully there is that um, You know with the Warren Cliff style it should help prevent that because the way it's gonna rub on something It's not gonna get pushed in easily because it's kind of meant to, it's gonna flow along with that front tip there um, versus something catching if you had something uh, you know that was like maybe a, a traditional clip point or something like that so um, very very nice the weight is only like two ounces uh, so quite lightweight but still feels very substantial uh, especially considering that it's just a little uh, you know a little slip joint um, and then when we get into kind of those ergonomics again feels really nice fills the hand quite naturally the action is is definitely quite smooth and snappy um, and that's what you would expect from a slip joint uh, you don't want it to be too smooth <laughs> um, because then it could possibly you know close so you do have nice Kind of resistance uh, from that perspective. You don't necessarily need to use the nail nick because you get enough purchase just grabbing, um, and then you get the first stop, and then bam, and it's it's pretty much locked in. And, and let's say if I was to keep my finger here, it is pretty hard to get it beyond that. Uh, if I just keep my finger there, but let's say I'm getting that and I'm doing that. The nice thing is again. Uh, I can feel that I can control that so I know if it's going to give way and if it does it's only going to give way right so, and the nice thing is too you can see where it aligns so you know to keep your fingers back right so if it does come back and bite you and let's say it does get pushed a little bit further it'll snap back away from you so chances are by the time it hurts you it's not going to want to close because it's not really going to be getting pulled in so you can see until you're all the way down there so that's when it's going to be 
fighting against you. So your fingers are going to be, uh, you know, in, in a bad place if you have them this deep in uh, before it closes. Now, uh, the washers on here look to be bronze uh, pivot washers. Also, that uh, half stop. You know, again, uh, just to mention it, it does add a little bit of safety um, as well as familiarity, of course. And let's say you're buying this knife as a gift for somebody. You know, I am I'm one who really agrees with, you know, when somebody's learning to handle a knife, they should start with a traditional slip joint because they will learn to respect the knife so that they're not getting cut. So then when it comes to frame locks or anything like that, um, you know, later on, uh, which are going to be more reliable, um, you know, really, uh, you know, stiff, uh, fixed blade like, um, you're going to be more careful and you're going to be just more conscious of the open and close action on a knife. So these, not necessarily, I would say, you know, to train folks, um, but it is a nice stepping stone and I think everybody should, especially when you think about stuff like uh, Swiss Army knives, right? Um, everybody could, should kind of experience that as a cutting tool uh, and then they can eventually kind of graduate up into more complex stuff, you know, front flippers and all the fun different ways to actuate uh, or, you know, access bars and, and every other, um, you know, uh, variation of that now that uh, Benchmade's, um, they're, uh, you know, uh, what's that called? Uh, going blank now that uh, they're patents are, are up, right? Um, so now there's the access lock um, and now there's all these other variations that are basically the same thing. Um, but you get back to the basics with something like this and I think it's cool. It's uh, really nice and thin, quite lovely in the hand, really nice in the pocket. This thing falls to the bottom of your pocket doesn't intrude, doesn't give you some weird bulge <laughs> in the pocket, right? Um, so it's it's very nice. And there is even a little spot, which looks like uh, if you did want to run a very thin uh, lanyard through it, you probably could, it looks like. Um, definitely don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what that's for. I think it's, it's, it is, would be very, very specific for the type of cordage you would want to use for something like that just because it's so small. But because this is a slip joint and there's no pocket clip, it actually would be nice to run a little lanyard on there. Um, I run lanyards on some of my knives, not all of them. Um, but uh, this one is definitely really cool. I, I really, really love the design, and I think they knocked it out of the park. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they kind of come out with as they continue to develop these, because I am a fan of modern traditionals. That uh, they don't all have to be slip joints, but I do love, you know, um, the bolster style and and the different types of scales. And then of course, I think these more traditional silhouettes are definitely you know very handsome and then again at the same time these types of sizes um, they do help in terms of you know if people are afraid of your knife uh, the nice thing is if you're at a birthday party or something and you gotta whip out something that looks like a traditional style knife and you gotta you know cut some uh, balloon threads or something like that um, nobody's gonna go running or you know give you any dirty looks when you whip it out if you took you know a modern flipper out and you do that uh, you know it, it's gonna scare some folks unfortunately um, so getting into model variants there's actually three different wildman models in total um another in brown micarta and then there's one that's all titanium um, with some really cool contouring for grip and then in terms of comparable options there are a lot of um you know competition within this space but i think this little slip joint really captures the classic nature of a sway back um you know while combining it with a i'd say a more modern function forward build uh this definitely feels more robust like in terms of uh just as a pure cutting tool um you know this is going to feel so much more solid than um you know not just feel it actually is way more solid um than a very uh you know old school traditional um you know slip joint type of knife so this is going to feel great in hand and you're going to be able to do a little bit more i'd say uh in, in terms of like going hard and and really just if you need to use this thing heavily you absolutely could 
um, especially with this blade steel and, and very ergonomic shape. And then of course the very nice strong uh, you know build quality on here is really nice. So bottom line for me um, You know at this price boulder really could have went with something like n690 instead of m390 um, And they probably still would have sold a lot of them um, But in typical kind of brand fashion for boulder uh, They look to offer more bang per buck and and I, I really dig that and I, I appreciate that same thing for like Let's say this boulder here they probably could have sold this with a Japanese movement and and really um, capitalized, but they put a Swiss movement inside of it and um, they still offered it for a really reasonable price. Uh, so stuff like that, I, you know, I really really like this knife. Very very cool. So I dig it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, please do a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.